Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is while you're watching this. And here in the UK, it's December, it's lashing it down and the rain's turned cold as well. At least it's not icy like it was over the last couple of weekends. I've been able to get the bike out for a bit of a poodle. Um, I've got very wet on the way back. If you want to simulate what it's like riding in the UK and you never have had the pleasure, simply do this. Get yourself a garden sprayer, put some ice water in it, spray yourself in the face. It'll feel exactly like what it does in the UK at the moment. Anyway, enough whinging about the weather. If you've ever visited the UK, you'll know we're very good at that. We don't have a climate, we just have weather, so it's a favourite talking point. If you want to break ice with the British person, just mention the weather and you'll... Uh, be talking to them about it for ages. Unless they ride a bike, then talk about the bike, because that's much more fun than the weather, isn't it? Anyway, today's top tip that I'm going to be passing on was given to me when I was a new rider at 17, doing my uh, Star Rider Silver, and I've passed on to people doing their advanced test preparation when I was an observer for the IAM. And it's all to do with holding your handlebars and looking over your shoulder. I have a trusty broom handle here and you'll see just outside of my hands there's a couple of bits of masking tape and they are to give me the right hand position for the Himalayan. So I've put the masking tape to the outside of where the Himalayan hand grips are, where the bar end weights are. I don't have standard bars on my Himalayan, I've braced bars so they are slightly wider and a bit sturdier for my uh, poor attempts at riding off-road. So my hand position is somewhere like this. My arms are not quite fully straight, but the elbows have only just got a bit of a bend in them. And if you ride a bike like this with wide bars, quite far away from you, I've also got risers as well, so hence the higher position than you'd uh, perhaps see on your Himalayan if you've got one. And if you look over your shoulder, you might move the bars a bit. This is what it looks like in riding from the viewpoint of my top box with the camera mounted on it. So we do a quick shoulder check here and you see the bike moves a little bit. If we look at the handlebar uh, camera position you'll see there's a bit of a wobble there. It's about 6 to 8 inches on the road but you don't really want to be doing that. Instead, leaning forward slightly, breaking the elbow lock, dropping the shoulder and a chin bar on the shoulder actually gives you a lot more stability, especially if there's something coming the other way like here. So going from a straight arm position to slight break in the elbow on the right hand side. See, I've not moved the handlebars, I've just broken the lock on the elbow. And looking down and back, you don't turn the bars. So there's a top tip if you do find yourself turning your head and moving the bike slightly, just break the lock on the elbow. If you're gonna put your chin on your shoulder, you naturally will drop your shoulder as well, which will help give some more flexibility. Anyway, hope to see you out on the road. My last planned ride for this year is gonna be New Year's Eve. My first planned ride for next year is New Year's Day. Going to be weather dependent, but if it's only rain and not ice, it probably won't stop me until uh, I get some common sense put into me somehow. Anyway, safe riding, take care, see you in the next film.